लेंस फील्ड ग्रुप बी सी जी एंड नॉन एंटीकोकाई ग्रुप ग्रुप बी फॉर्म्स नॉर्मल फ्लोरा ऑफ वेजाइना इन फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ वीमेन इट कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन इन एनल कैविटी एंड जुएथ्रा इट इज सोडियम हिप्यूरेट हाइड्रोलाइजिंग बैक्टीरिया इट डज नॉट हाइड्रोलाइज बाइल एस्क्यूलिन इट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू बेसिट्रेसिन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट इज स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस एगिलेक्टिया दिस बैक्टीरिया इज पॉजिटिव फॉर कैम्प फैक्टर विच फॉर्म्स सीनर्जिस्टिक बीटा ह्यूलिस विद स्ट्रेफ ओरियस विच मीन्स इफ वी हैव अ कल्चर ब्लड अगार एंड हेयर वी मेक अ स्ट्रीक ऑफ स्टेफ ओरियस एंड हेयर अ स्ट्रीक ऑफ एनी ऑफ द ग्रुप बी बैक्टीरिया नाउ हेयर इज अनदर पेट्री डिश विद ब्लड अगार हेयर स्टेफ ओरियस एंड हेयर लेट्स टेक इट ग्रुप ए बैक्टीरिया नाउ this forms synergistic beta hemolysis means it is staph aureus okay it is group b which means hemolysis will be done by staph aureus like this also by group b bacteria like this and there will be synergistic formation in the center which means it will be visible like this while in another group of bacteria which does not form synergy with staph aureus for example group a it will form beta hemolysis like this which means they are suppressing the hemolysis and here can be seen and here can be seen it has capsular polysaccharide means its capsule is very important for its virulence activity it causes and it is responsible for most of the neonate infections such as early neonate infections which has symptoms similar to sepsis and it occurs before 24 hours it has late neonate infections which occur between 1 week to 3 month and these have symptoms like meningitis and osteomyelitis infections during vaginal delivery in 1 to 2% of infants can be seen because of this bacteria the treatment is penicillin and prophylaxis to the mother is to be given if she is carrying flora of this bacteria and that is confirmed by vaginal and anal swab testing and that penicillin prophylaxis is to be given between 35 to 37th week group b streptococci vaccine are available that can be given to the mother and igg antibody that will be formed will be transmitted to the baby and baby will be safe infections are not seen in healthy adults generally but in immunocompromised patients with chronic diseases and hiv patients can have diseases because of group p bacteria now group c and g it causes beta hemolysis and because of different pattern of hemolysis it has a different group it generally causes infections not infection but it has normal flora in animals and cattle such as horses and unpasteurized milk consumption can lead to infections not in normal healthy people but in immunocompromised and patient of chronic diseases the patient the pattern of diseases that it causes is very similar to group a streptococci that is pharyngitis impidigo cellulitis bacteremia endocarditis one of the example is streptococcus equisimus again the treatment for it is 
penicillin G and if resistant the treatment that is given for group A streptococci can be given in this group as well. Non enterococci, non enterococci, yes, this form alpha hemolysis examples of or it is also called as Bovis group and it has Streptococcus glylolytica and infantularis. These are responsible for colon carcinoma and polyps together with endocarditis. They form normal flora of oral cavity and vigorous brushing floss when lead to bleeding can be a reason of endocarditis and bacteremia in again immunocompromised person or such as hiv patients or patients which are having glucocorticoid therapy or chronic diseases increases the risk of such infections due to oral flora by known enterococci Treatment for these group B, group C, G and non enterococci is again the penicillin G but in resistant strains other medications such as cephalosporin and gentamicin and macrolides can be used.